Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. <laughs> but the truck will automatically break. <laughs> automatically. Yeah, you can read it too. Um, auto <laughs> it'll automatically break, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. So Elon also forgot to mention that it also takes care of all the trucking jobs around America um, and in the world in a sense because once these trucks start spreading um, there's really no stopping them because as he puts you know they're so intelligent in what they do um, it, that it's just a matter of time before they start um, making this profound impact and um, being actually better than human drivers because like human drivers um, you know, they need maintenance, they need care, um, like, during the trip, you know, like, you have to stop for food, you have to stop for, um, toilet break, whereas a truck, it can just keep going, so you imagine, like, how much efficiency, like, is gained when you have a truck that works 24-7, and you have a human that needs to have a break after a while, um, so, it's going to be like, it's going to be very brutal, um, and it's just not just Tesla doing it, like, it's a, basically a big race for all the trucking um, innovations that are coming onto the market, because there's so much value to be gained in this market. Um, I'm going to talk a bit more about the statistics, like, right after, like, I'm just going to show you another video, um, so the next one is Volvo, where it basically has no driver in the truck. Um, so it's quite quite unbelievable. You think um, that trucks actually need to be a certain way, but once you see this truck, you think, oh, actually, it makes a lot of sense. Like essentially, a truck is just um, something pulling something along. Um, so if you see this Volvo truck, you're going to be like, oh wow, innovation's actually heading much further than I thought it was. All right, so I'll see you right after that. Vera is part of a larger system and has the potential to optimize transports in highly repetitive, short distance transport flows with large volumes of goods, such as ports, factory areas, and logistic mega centers, offering better delivery precision and flexibility. The autonomous electric vehicles operate together in a network and are connected through a cloud-based service and management center. We want to make it easier for clients and partners to run their business. We are now presenting a highly effective system for moving goods 24-7 as a complement to what's available today. So if that didn't make you say, wow, these trucks are actually going to take people's jobs because the Volvo truck literally has no space for anyone to sit in it. It's literally just controlled from a control center, told what to do, and it does the job. And, you know, that's, essentially you're just going to have one or two people in that control tower just going, hey, this needs to be picked up here, this needs to be picked up here, and the truck automatically does it. It doesn't go, oh, well, I'll do that right after the toilet break or after I finish, you know, what I'm doing right here. You know, this, it does it immediately, and I don't need to tell you how much efficiency would just be gained from that. Um, so I want to show you the statistics. Like, these are... A little um, older statistics, um, but the ones that are co really conveniently available. Um, so, but I don't think they've actually changed that much in the present time. Um, so this is from 2016, that we had 3.68 um, million trucks on the road. Um, well, at least uh, you know going around in America. Um, so you think about it, that's a lot of trucks. Um, and the revenue they're producing is even more astronomical. It's six hundred and seventy-six billion dollars. You can imagine all the technology companies looking at this figure and going, "That's a lot of money to re to be gained per year." Like, even if you split it between many companies, that's a ton of revenue. Um, so the the problem is, once one company succeeds. They just have to keep pumping trucks out. They don't have to, 
limit themselves because if you if you're a trucking company the one thing that limits you right now is your employment of truckers because it's an extremely strenuous task and as some say you know they're not paid enough for it um, so imagine when you don't have to hire truckers and all you've got is a manufacturing plant that just constantly produces truck by truck by truck um, and then eventually when it gets to like 3 million trucks because you probably don't need 3.68 million trucks after that um, due to the efficiencies um, you're essentially going to just take the whole market um, between all the technical like all the big players who produce these uh, autonomous trucks and as a reality like those are just two examples um, of Tesla and Volvo who are making big leaps in the space um, but there's a whole ton of more like competitors like this isn't slowing down like if you go on YouTube and you start looking at other companies you begin to realize hey this isn't just a problem that's just going to come down the road in five or ten years time like it literally can be in one or two years time um, and you're going to be really surprised um, that because like you think of the Volvo truck, um, even if the regulation isn't like immediately available, um, you can still have these um, trucks basically moving into short distances, um, which is essentially what they're designed for right now. Um, and in that also has um, it's it's already have it's already going to start having a big impact on people who work at like say docks and all that, where you just have a um, something that loads everything on the truck, it drives along to a certain distance, unloads, comes back, unloads, comes back, you know, it's um, kind of um, a foolproof system in terms of uh, operation because you don't have to um, amount for any other costs except maintaining the truck. Um, so you think about that and you go, wow, things are really going to change, things are really going to impact you know, a lot of people. Um, the reality is 1% of the American population are truck drivers. It's an astronomical amount. Like, you wouldn't think that would be that high. Um, but freight is actually a big component of um, how the economy runs. Because, especially with online shopping, um, I don't need to tell you how convenient online shopping is these days and how... It's actually increasing year by year by tens of billions of dollars. And every time you buy something online, someone has to move that from one city to another city or one state to another state. Um, so you, when that happens, you're essentially um, looking at a situation of there's actually a lot of freight to be moved and there's, in a way, there's not enough truck drivers to move it all on, on time. And... Like, you look at Amazon, and they're trying to have one-day shipping, and they, they they can't afford delays, especially with so much um, volume to move. So they're going to push for more innovation, especially with these autonomous trucks. Um, so that's the thing. It's a, it's a big push for the technology that no one has a choice on the time frame. Like, it's just going to accelerate year after year, and it's... Or like we don't actually know how long we have left, but it's a lot shorter than you actually think it is. Um, and as like Elon Musk puts, you know, technology isn't linear. It tends to be more of a, you know, it might double one year and then double that on another year and then double that that year after that. And essentially, if you go, most people are thinking it's one plus one plus one. And then you'd be like, oh, it's three, but it's really not. It's like one plus two plus four is actually seven. So instead of three, it's actually seven. So um, that that increase, in terms of technology, it's actually quadrupled at times um, in some sense. Like um, in terms of data, like you accumulate so much more data in terms of um, like in terms of how you run things. Like you. It, it, say like um, autonomous driving essentially when you first started accumulating that data it would have been like um, minuscule like imagine it would have just been one and then a minute it goes to four and after that it goes to 16 um, and then after that it just goes to like 84 or something like that 
um, and then you think, oh, it's actually quite astronomical, it's um, going to make quite a profound difference, like, those are just examples, like, um, n- nothing actually is going to, like, happen exactly how they say it is, but um, even, even if it's close to what I say it is, um, that that's going to have such a big effect on people's lives, and we're not talking, like, that we've got um, many terms to wait. Like, if Andrew Yang doesn't get in um, next next year, um, that's another four years you have to wait. So that's five years. By the time that the president ends their term, guess what? That's Autonomous trucks will be a thing. And what, what, what are we going to do? Like, we're not going to be able to immediately change everything. Um, everything takes time. I guarantee you, if you if you get the president, uh, if you get a new president that says, okay, we will put UBI in, um, and then they take a year to really implement it because these things aren't quick. You need to write the legislation for it. Uh, you need to put all the um, procedures in place so that that it isn't abused. Um, and that's the thing. Everything just takes time, and we don't necessarily have the time for it. Like if we don't solve it. A lot of people will suffer, um, and I just really wanted to highlight this as being one of the um, issues, especially um, since Andrew Yang has really been championing this issue. Um, so let me know if you agree, um, and if you want any other topics um, that you're interested in, and I, I guarantee I probably have an interest in it too, that it's just like I probably haven't um, dived into it yet. Um, so, you know, I think it's great when everyone's able to just discuss the same topics um, and enjoy like you know this whole movement of technology that we have that allows us to bridge networks that I can be um, thousands and thousands of miles away but I can still keep in contact and I can still um, talk to you about these big issues all right so until next time